Inside of the concentration camps, there was much suffering during the Second World War. Millions were deported from their homes to huge complexes such as Auschwitz or Bergen-Belsen, and many didn't even make their ways inside the concentration camps to work, as they were deemed unfit to do so. The camps set up within the Third Reich and managed by the SS were incredibly brutal, and inside of the Holocaust millions were killed in the worst hells on earth. There were many trials after World War II that aimed to bring the perpetrators of the Holocaust to justice. Many different members of staff were tried and sentenced to death for their brutal treatment, and one of these was Friedrich Antress. So join us today as we look at the justified execution of Friedrich Antress, the evil doctor of Auschwitz, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Friedrich Antress was born in 1914 in Posen, a Prussian province. It's assumed that his early life was relatively normal and straightforward, and he dreamed of being a doctor. In Germany at the time, and as he studied, Adolf Hitler had seized control and he was carrying out his policies of expanding the military, building up his army and armed forces in preparation for a world war, where he would attempt to conquer huge swathes of land for Germany. Hitler dreamed of building a Third Reich, and it was during Antress's early life that the early part of this planning was done. Antress graduated from medical school in around 1938, and was later able to be given his doctorate without even writing a final thesis or dissertation. Hitler deemed this to be a privilege granted to Germans from the East, so Friedrich benefited greatly from this. In terms of his appearance he had dark blonde hair and grey eyes, and this placed him in the forefront of the queue of those wishing to join the SS. As the Germans invaded Poland, he was part of a vigilante group of ethnic Germans who were in league with the SS, helping the German invasion, and he later joined the SS Totenkopf Bande. This was an SS group that was responsible for the running of the concentration camps. The SS TV, as they were known, went on to look after administering the camps of the Holocaust under the Third Reich, in Germany and further afield in Nazi-occupied territory. They oversaw the genocide of the Holocaust, and were responsible for facilitating the final solution, and under their jurisdiction, the horror of the Holocaust was played out, from the savage beatings administered by evil guards, to the sadistic medical experiments controlled by doctors. Friedrich Entress joined this group, and he was a practicing doctor, and he would find himself working at many different camps throughout the Holocaust. He became an SS doctor, and began to work at the Gross Rosen concentration camp. Doctors inside of the camps regularly were required to carry out inspections of the prisoners known as selections. If a prisoner was too sickly or weak to continue to work on, then they would be sent straight to the gas chambers, or they were summarily executed by firing squads. Doctors were involved in choosing who lived and died, and for many after the Second World War, this would be enough to secure a death sentence in the courts. Friedrich Antress transferred to Auschwitz on the 11th of December 1941, and he stayed there for a number of years. He worked there as a camp physician, and whilst here he conducted many awful human experiments, working with other doctors to do so. He would operate inside Block 21, and was paid by a subsidiary of IG Farben to test many different medical experimental drugs in horrific trials. Some of the drugs were based around the treatment of typhus and tuberculosis, two diseases which were rife inside of the camp. Now part of the experiments included collapsing the lungs of those victims who were suffering from TB. Antress set up a TB ward and he perfected a technique of collapsing the lungs before killing and liquidating all of those on the ward by injecting their hearts with a lethal dose of phenol. Through this he regularly killed around 100 people a day and he was one of the main killers inside of Auschwitz, killing hundreds of victims in the name of medical experimentation. Antress and his fellow surgeons did not have a medical qualification or the relevant qualifications to carry out surgery. Two drugs were tested on prisoners at Auschwitz and they gave these drugs in various doses and forms. The patients who often took these suffered from horrific diarrhoea and vomiting and had huge issues with side effects. The operations from a medical standpoint performed by physicians including Antress were completely unnecessary. He also performed spinal taps on prisoners, and these experiments guaranteed a death sentence for most of the prisoners. The injection of phenol was a way for the doctors to simply murder their patients. Despite these experiments, he also tended to different outbreaks inside of Auschwitz. Antress later stated, 
the turnover of inmates in Monovitz, the IG Farben factory, was enormous. The inmates were weak and malnourished. It should be emphasised that the performance demanded of these inmates was not in accord with their living conditions and nutrition. With this, the SS guards were working the prisoners to death, but Entrest did nothing to stop this or improve things for the prisoners. Later it would be Josef Mengele who carried on Untress's work inside of Auschwitz. After working at Auschwitz he then transitioned to be the senior physician at Mount Hazen-Guzen and by 1945 he had become an SS surgeon. As the Second World War came to an end and it went against the Germans, many of the criminals who carried out the evils of the Holocaust tried to flee to escape their fate. However, Friedrich Untress was serving with an SS tank division as a surgeon as the Second World War came to an end in May 1945 in Europe. He was then arrested and was placed on trial at the mauthausen Gusen camp trials of 1946. These trials were heard before American military courts and in total 69 former camp personnel were tried. During testimonies, evidence was put forward about Entress's crimes and in particular his medical experiments which resulted in most of his patients being killed via a phenol injection to the heart. He did not testify at all in his own defence, however pleas for clemency were lodged for entrance by his wife and himself, however they were rejected and he was sentenced to death. Those who were sentenced to death following the trial were then taken to Landsberg prison to await their fate. Landsberg itself was a prominent place of hangings and it became famous for the prison in which Adolf Hitler was imprisoned following the Munich Putsch. In the courtyard of the prison, a gallows had been erected for the executions, and there was a roped-off area for witnesses to watch the proceedings. On the 28th of May 1947, Friedrich Tress was taken from his cell into the courtyard of a prison. Two civilian executioners were there, and he was led up to the gallows by a priest and soldiers. As he walked up the stairs, he was then handed over to the executioner. On top of the scaffold, the executioner greeted Entress and then placed a black hood over his head, followed by the rope. It was then adjusted around his head and he was placed into position over the trap door. The lever was then efficiently pulled and within seconds of him arriving at the top of the scaffold, Entress was killed. One of the sickest parts of the Holocaust was the medical experiments carried out by doctors such as Friedrich Entress or Joseph Mengele. They tortured prisoners for very little purpose, except for horrific and sadistic human experimentation. They worked in the evils of the Holocaust, and those such as Friedrich Entress met their fate at the hangman's noose, but there were many sick doctors such as Joseph Mengele who never did meet their justice. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.